and welcome to the first unboxing video of SDR lab software defined radio lab has been designed specifically keeping in mind the needs of academicians researchers and teachers for teaching and lab purposes of various subjects such as analog communication digital communication wireless communication satellite communication among others and also for research purposes in various areas such as mimo cognitive radio lte 5g and others software defined radio lab comes with two full duplex software defined radios these software defined radios can be configured to transmit and receive simultaneously in different frequency bands from 400 megahertz to 4 gigahertz they can monitor an instantaneous bandwidth of 40 megahertz These software defined radios can be powered using a DC power jack or USB 3.0. We will be working with USB 3.0 as it is the fastest bus available on a PC. These software defined radios will be configured using laptop workstations. These laptop workstations are powered using a 2.5 GHz quad core processor and these are preloaded with all the drivers courseware lab manuals videos experiments and all the teaching aids that will be needed to get the software defined radio lab working right out of the box so along with the software defined radio and mobile workstations we also provide the entire accessories such as a pair of omnidirectional dipole antennas a pair of log periodic directional antennas a pair of usb 3.0 cable SMA SMA cable 20 dB attenuator SMA SMA adapter along with all the accessories which are needed to work it right out of the box also software defined radio lab is a complete comprehensive package which consists of hardware the open source software gnu radio pre installed the complete courseware the complete manual and hundreds of experiments which can get you started with various courses right out of the box along with an ever increasing library of hundreds of experiments software defined radio is also compatible with matlab and matlab simulink so your existing work in matlab and simulink can be ported directly onto the str and you can verify your results in a practical hardware environment 